Well, I can see you come back for more. All right, so you're anxious to see how the promissory note turned out for Ethan. To give you some highlights, if you missed part one and part two, Ethan decided that his doodad, the Pikachu right here, was something too good to pass up. And as a result, he came to me asking for a favor. Dad, Dad, will you loan me the money to buy my Pikachu? And I said, uh, well, you got to agree to my terms. He didn't actually know what those were yet, but I gave him an offer he couldn't refuse. So, <laughs> so with everything, I explained what a promissory note was and how I structured it for Ethan. And what I did is, essentially, he had his principal of $31.80. He had to pay that back with interest. Now, if you didn't see the last clip, you might be thinking, well, what amount of interest did you charge your son? I mean, don't be a loan shark. No, no, I'm not a loan shark. I'm a parent. So the interest that I charged was to put him outside of his comfort zone with four challenges now each challenge was a level and each level started kind of like this well ethan i know how comfortable you enjoy being and my job as a parent is for you to go through a struggle so in challenge number one the struggle is going to be your choice of three adventures adventure number one wow you see what a beautiful day it is outside why don't you go for a run a mile run. Yes, go for a mile run. You'll enjoy it. You'll feel so good when you're done. But here's the thing. Maybe you don't want to go for a mile run. And I totally understand that. So how about option number two? Option number two. I know you're not a big fan of vegetables, but you get to eat an entire bowl of those vegetables tonight. Mmm. Think of how your body will feel. Not your taste buds, but your stomach and your body. It's going to taste so good, right? That was, that was number two. Then number three, well, if those two are a little bit too much for you, if you don't want to run and you don't want to eat healthy, let's see, what can we do here? Oh, how about a movie? I know you love movies, right? How about a movie that would put you outside of your comfort zone? Now, my son, he, he loved Jurassic Park when he was a kid, but at this point, he doesn't really want to watch anything that has any spooky or scary scenes in it, so... I had to put an adventure movie in there. Indiana Jones and The Lost Ark. Oh, yes. He got to watch that movie, and he was not happy at all about it. He was just shaking like, I don't want to see it. No, no, I don't want to see it. So I was just like, I was like, oh, that's so bad, Ethan. I'm I'm so sorry. I guess, uh, I guess your friend's going to be with me now, huh? And all of a sudden, he's just like, all right, Dad. All right, Dad. I watched the movie. I watched the movie. So Ethan made it <laughs> through level one and watched Indiana Jones. I believe Indiana Jones and the Lost Ark was number one. So he made it. And then it was on to level two. Ooh, level two. Hmm, what did we have for level two? Well, those first two options were still on the table. Do you want to eat your vegetables or go for a run? But I think it might have been chillier that day. So I was like, okay, instead of a run, Ethan had or has... Uh, quite a costume collection of the various things that he dress up as and he dance around home because he's a dancer and he loves to dance, right? So I was like, ooh, I was like, why don't you put together an outfit and wear that outside? He was just like, oh, no, I will do no such thing. So I was like, all right, well, the only other thing I have for you is a movie. What about the second Indiana Jones? Fine, Dad. I'll watch the second Indiana Jones movie. So he had his stomach through that one, and he made it. Oh, successful through level two. And I know that boy. Oh, he's just like, Dad's making me do stuff that I just don't like. But I think he got stronger as a result of it. So on level three, you might have guessed it. I gave him all those same options again. And he's just like, Indiana, here we go again, right? So he must have felt like Indiana Jones after that was over because it was just like, man, Indiana after one, after another, after another. Why did I pick that movie? Because it was the one movie on his list It's like, I never want to see that movie. You're never going to make me see that. Oh, yes. He, he revealed that. He's never going to see that movie. He did see that movie. So we made it through the first three levels. And level four, level four, the last level, there weren't any Indiana Jones movies left at that point. So he had to figure out something else that was going to put him out of his comfort zone. And he decided to eat 
vegetables. Now, I'm not sure about your kids, or if you're a kid, or if you like vegetables, but they are good for you. But probably not as a kid. Candy probably tastes a lot better. <laughs> and, well, he decided, you know what, I'm going to do the vegetables. So he had the meanest look on his face, like like the like whatever he was eating was hitting him in the back of the eyeballs. And it was just like, well, you can do it, man. You just got to finish it. So sure enough, he finished it. And he finished all four levels. And to this day, he will not let me live it down. Like, all the stuff you made me do to get that Pikachu. So the funny thing is, I asked him about it. I was like, Ethan, what's the hardest thing you've ever done? And he didn't say anything about the, the loan or the challenge. I'm just like, what? I was like, that's not necessarily a bad thing. But I know that I did my part as a parent to put him through the gauntlet. And oh yeah, by the way, he was on time with the payments and everything else. But here's the learning lesson. The learning lesson was that it wasn't about the money. It was never about the money. It was always about the promise. Him putting his mouth and his words to his actions. That was the whole intent of the entire promissory note experience. It was keeping a promise. And so the money piece, he found the money piece to be easy. It was the challenges that he saw as the hard part. So that's something to take away. When we, when we decide we're going to do things, when we put promises out there, when we put our word out there, that's usually the hardest thing to keep, right? And the only reason it's hard to keep is sometimes people don't get a good, good enough practice at it, right? So I had to put something that Ethan considered valuable. I had to put his doodad at stake. That was the collateral. And him delivering on what he said he was going to do had something that he wanted at stake. And that's all, that's all it took to engineer. That all that is all that was required in order to create that environment. And here's the thing. You can do the same thing. You can do the exact same thing. You just have to be willing to put something that you love, that you desire, that you cherish as collateral in order to get what it is that you're actually desiring, that you actually want. And to do that, you have to make sacrifices. So remember that the sacrifices you make are going to directly correlate to where you're going to end up and where you're going to be able to go. And this lesson should be no different than many of the lessons that you actually learn in life. It's not so much about the experience of what you have to go through to get where you want to be, but it's who you become on the other side. So I know with Ethan going through this exercise and going through the promissory note, it wasn't about the money. It was about him identifying and recognizing that he had to do something that he did not feel comfortable with in order to get to the other side. And when he made it to the other side, it was a completely different story. It was a completely different Ethan. He did something that in his mind, he would not have imagined himself doing. So like a good father, I just need to give him a little bit of a push, right? And sure enough, when that gap <laughs> or that plateau appeared and he got pushed, he had to learn how to leap and he had to learn how to jump. And fortunately, I don't believe in starting too high, so I started him low enough where if he did fall flat on his face, it wouldn't have been that big of a consequence. But we had to start with the small steps before we get to the big ones. So I hope you enjoyed this three-part series on the promissory note. I enjoyed delivering it to you because it excited me to, to understand and recognize how I can engineer uh, a, a way in which to teach my son about what a promissory note is, how he can have the experience of having one, and how he can have the memories of knowing what he had to do in order to get something that he wants and to be able to be someone of his word. So all of those lessons tied with one simple exercise. I love sharing this type of content because it's made a huge impact on my family, my kids, I hope it's something that can impact you as well. And when we actually weave in the life lessons that, that the next generation needs into ways in which they can succeed and they can experience it, it just changes. There was one more thing. When Ethan actually fulfilled his obligation in paying 
the funds back for the Pikachu and uh, completing all four of his challenges, he received a lien release. What that lien release essentially indicates is that all claims that were made as a part of the promissory note had been fulfilled. And it is my declaration that I will not be coming after Ethan for his Pikachu or any funds that have not been paid or anything like that. So if you are a borrower and you have paid in full, make sure you get that lien release so that you are no longer obligated by the promissory note. And if you are the lender, you should be issuing a lien release once you've received all your payments in full. It's the way that business is properly done, and then that way both sides actually have the records that they need if there are any issues that come up or happen down the road. So, wanted to make sure I shared that little bit. So I hope you enjoyed this three-part series on the promissory note. There's gonna be bunches and loads more learning lessons because I have too much I have too much that I just have not gotten out yet. So there's going to be more. So I hope you uh, appreciated the lesson. If you do, provide some comments below. If there's any more insights that I can provide as a parent in teaching my son and kids in general uh, just what to expect in life and how to prepare for it, I'd be more than happy to, uh, to share that journey with you. So thanks for tuning in and catch you on the next clip. Bye.